Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you all so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is alleged, some is not, and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. So, um, the bubblegum rapper, non-rapping rapper, is, you know, still out here whack, trying to ride Mo 3's wave. Still trying to do it, okay? Mo 3 is killing him in sales. Killing him in sales and he's not even here anymore. And he's still reaching. He's still reaching. Um, he posted this up. And it says, they give him a bun, I'm making his bun. Okay, so he didn't allegedly made, you know, some street pharmacy sales, enough sales to, you know, and did en uh, enough dirt out here in these streets, allegedly, to get the bun money up for, you know, key one. <laughs> if he gets the bun, this is what he's saying. If he, if he, they give him a bun, he's going to bond him out. This guy will do anything to stay in the limelight because his music is shit, y'all. Nobody likes his music but his family. Nobody likes it but them, y'all. And his boys, they probably listen to it around him, but when they ain't around him, they probably ain't listening to that shit either. Okay, y'all? But this one right here is a trip y'all and I want y'all to pay attention to who liked the video Dr. Rose okay y'all do y'all remember Dr. Rose he's the dentist who got hit up right after Mo3 was taken out and remember when I told you and did a little digging and I showed y'all that you know all the evidence that Dr. Rose is best friends with the people that Mo3's manager had him to do a movie with all the Mo3 Ops was in this movie. Okay? This setup movie. This guy that liked what he's saying to release, to free the person that allegedly helped take Mo3 out. Dr. Rose is liking this post. Okay, y'all? And if y'all don't remember Dr. Rose, I'm going to play something for y'all. He got hit up right after Mo3 did. And the first person that came on the news was Mo3 Manager defending Dr. Rose saying that it didn't have anything to do with him. See, this is what I tell you that this guy is a serious snake. People don't listen when, you know, a lot of people listen, but a lot of people don't. They still feel like Rain ain't got nothing to do with this. Rain, ain't, Rain is tied in with these same guys. He was the first one that came on the news and defended this guy saying that his hidden didn't have nothing to do with Mo3 hidden. Well, why is he liking Trap's post and Trap is trying to, you know, say he got the bond money to get Mo3's hitter out. Ask yourself this question. And ask yourself this question. Why would Rain Man, Mo3's manager, his partner, be the first one to try to defend Dr. Rose? Ask yourself this question. And I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna play this little post real quick. So y'all refresh our memory happen at an office building along Central Expressway where the part-time rapper is a full-time dentist. Ken Koltoff is live in Dallas with the latest on this. Ken? Meredith, three people were wounded at this office building last night. The part-time rapping by one of them is the same occupation as another man who was killed on a Dallas freeway earlier this week. Well, right now, police tell me that rapping and gunfire seem to be the only connections between those two. The window was boarded today at the Central Expressway office building where police were called just after 9 p.m. last night. All three victims took themselves to hospitals. One left a bullet-riddled vehicle behind at the scene just north of downtown Dallas. It is the office of dentist Jared Rosenborough. He wears scrubs in his dentistry website. His Instagram page has photos of his part-time endeavor as a rap artist. The Instagram page has 154,000 followers. 
Gunfire ended the life of full-time rapper Mo3 south of downtown at noon Wednesday in the middle of a highway. Police said the victim tried to get away from his attacker. He got out and was running away and the uh, suspect began chasing him, shooting at in his direction at some, the whole time. The 28-year-old was known to family and friends as Melvin Noble. He grew up poor in Dallas and made a name for himself. His manager told us yesterday that social media about the murder provides clues about who might be to blame. Once you start passing the people up that support you, then they'd be willing to do anything to bring you back down. So, there's a lot of jealousy. There's a lot of envy. But manager Brandon Rainwater tells me today he does not believe Mo 3's shooting was related to what happened at the office of Dr. Rose. It's a tough city to make it in the hip hop world. Fire ended the life. Like I said, he was the first one. Rain Man was the first one to go to the news and lie and say that Dr. Rose Hidden didn't have anything to do with Mo 3's. Really? Really? This is what they want everybody to believe. Why right after Mo3 is taken out, Dr. Rose get hit up? A day or so later. Hmm? Ask yourself this question. Why is Dr. Rose connected to the people that, you know, Mo3 did that movie with? The movie that, you know, he was on his way to on 11-11? The guy that was tied to all of Mo3 ops. Ask yourself this question. And ask yourself this question, why in the world would Rain Man be the first one to defend this guy? And this guy is sitting up here liking everything that Trap them do. Liking everything that the movie people do. Everybody that's the ops of Mo, that were ops of Mo 3, that were, he were into it with. This guy was slap dab right in the middle. He want to be a rapper too, y'all. He's a dentist slash want to be rapper. And I guess he wants his office to get hit up again. I don't know what's wrong with him. But he's still in the middle of some shit. This, this makes you wonder. You know, this is why I tell you, not only do, do people with good jobs. This guy got a good job. He's down there doing everybody mouth. He is making a lot of money. Why is he tying himself to this street shit? Ask yourself this question. And see, think about the, you know, the customers that's coming in there to get their mouth done and the people that work there. You are putting yourself right back in some more mess so somebody else can come back in there and try to do something else to you by being attached to the street association. Do you see how, you know, people, jobs and stuff, they get hit up and stuff and you don't even know. You, you at the dentist. You thinking you good. You going to the dentist. But at the same time, your dentist is out here mingling and tingling with street associates. Like trap them. People that's allegedly out here doing all kind of mess to people and getting away with it because, you know, he has ties to the, the police commissioner and all of these people. And, and, and all, you know, I meant to put the police commissioner up. I, meant, I put up the other guy. But he in it too. Okay? Allegedly. But he has ties... To the police commissioner, y'all. In Dallas. I don't know if y'all been paying attention to the news. Of all these cops that's been getting hit up left and right. A lot of cops been getting hit up. Do Trap think that he's untouchable? Do he really think that he can hide behind the commissioner all his little life? Do he think that, you know, nobody... And I mean, nobody can get to him. Is he serious? He cannot be. He has slid through life, you know, because of who his mother and them know and all of this stuff for a long time, y'all. Okay? A very long time. And he tried to keep himself slap dab in the middle of everything going on. He tried to hang out with real rappers, so he, maybe, maybe, just maybe, some of it will just rub off on him so he could become a better rapper. And then this, this pitiful-ass dentist right here that got people that's working in a very sophisticated office. You got people, you got people working in there for you. You got customers coming in there, and you're tying yourself to street associates that any, any, 
time that people can come at you because of the stuff that Trap is getting himself into. Trap walking around here with, you know, that song right now. Because he's scared that somebody going to blow him away sooner or later. And Dr. Rose think it's okay for him to, you know, keep being in the middle of this shit. See, this is why I be telling you, I don't feel sorry for a lot of people that I see on the news when stuff happens to them. Because you know what? When you keep putting yourself in the middle of some mess, sometimes that's your karma. Okay, y'all? Him getting hit up at his office wasn't enough for him. Maybe he want to repeat. I don't know. But when you're doing stuff like this, you ask him for it. Because he knows that when he goes and likes all the stuff that Trap doing, Trap is going to post this stuff and everybody going to see it. So why is the, the neighborhood Dennis being in the middle of all this street shit? Ask yourself this question. And who want to be in his office when somebody come to pay his ass a visit for being in the middle of the street mess? Okay, y'all? This is what I tell you. You, you know, you have to do your homework on some folks that you're dealing with. Because even though you think that you, you know, dealing with somebody that's got a good job and he's a dentist and this and that, you don't think that he's tied to the streets. But do a little homework on him, y'all. Y'all in Dallas, do a little homework on him. And don't be standing so close to him on the streets because you never know. If they came for him before, who knows what somebody might be feeling one day. You know, when he's standing outside his office or going to his car. Who knows? But when you put yourself in this mess like this, and you want to continue to stay in it. Because they all think they got away with taking Mo3 out. They all think that they, you know, fancy free right now with taking Mo3 out. But they're not. They're not. And this guy right here is going to be the person that brings the whole empire down. Okay? Because his scary ass, he going to be looking just like Eric Holder looking right now. And he going to be running in there telling on everybody. Because he don't want to be in that jail. And I got a feeling that what's happening to Eric Holder right now with them tying his ass up in that jail. People can't wait for this one right here. They can't wait for him to come in there. And they cannot wait for Yellow to come in there with his scary ass. They can't wait to get their hands on these guys right here. And they're going to be the first ones where one is already tricking, allegedly. He's already telling everything. But this one right here, that everybody thinking is, oh, he the man, this and that, that and this. This going to be the main one that tell on everybody. Because he's the one that's sending people out to do shit. So he know what everybody is doing. He's going to be the main one that tell on everybody. Allegedly. Watch and see. It always be the scary one. It always be the one that's running around here running his mouth. It always be that one. Some, you know, some people um, in Illinois just went to jail. Some um, politicians, they just went to jail and stuff. And the very same person that was the politician that went to jail in Illinois, he was the one that was posted, you know, I'm not going to tell nothing. I'm going to take it to my grave. I ain't going to tell on nobody. He got locked up and he was the first one to start telling on everybody. This is what I see when I see this guy right here. This is what I see. And Yellow don't know what he got himself into because if Yellow think that he's going to go behind this one back and tell on him, this one right here is going to tell all his dirt too. See, I'm telling you, snakes, when they have nobody else to come for, they start coming at each other. And even if they do got other people, they still going to snake each other out because they are snakes. That's what they do. There is no loyalty with this right here. When it come down to one of them grabbing them up and them facing some serious time, they're going to let all the cats out the bag, y'all. The whole damn family is going to be a family reunion with the cats, okay? They're going to let it all out. And mark my words, they are. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on with, you know, Mr. Dr. Rose and Trap them, calling themselves, you know, I guess they getting their money together just in case. Key one, get a bun. But I don't see it. I do not see it. Because Key one had the tail on Devin. 
Somebody told on Devin. So they got somebody that then told on Kiwan. Ain't nobody going to just take this by themselves. They're going to tell on. It's just like Devin Brown said. Watch the movie play out. Watch it play out. And y'all don't think that he's foot and fancy free. Your cousin. I don't care how you want to make it look as if, you know, they wanted to take it that route that Devin Brown did this because his baby mama messing with Mo3. No, you did this because your cousin got hit up on that expressway and he said Mo3 did it. That's why Mo3 was hit up. Not because, that's why you played your part, rather. Not because of no damn female. Because he wasn't even messing with her at the time. I mean, he probably still was hitting it when he wanted to. But he had another main chick he was messing with. But that, this is what they want to keep lying and saying, y'all. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Peace.